Welcome to the Austrac Dentistry 101 presentation. This is going to be a quick 10 minute presentation on the basics of our dentistry programs. Please all hold all questions and comments and we can meet back in the chat room when this is finished and go into more depth there. My name is Merritt and I work with Matthew and Emily in the dentistry admissions team. And you can reach us at dentistry at austrec.com. We are funded by the universities, so we are a free service for all students. We help from inquiry to the application phase, all the way to helping you organize and arrive in Australia for the beginning of your programs. We certify all transcripts and advise you on competitiveness to the programs and speak with you about your options. We take the hard work out of applications and complete them for you. The, then interact with the universities on your behalf, and we can even ask them to reassess your application if we believe there was an error made. If you receive an offer, you have, we have counseling on how to accept as well as all pre-departure information. We have amazing resources from campus information to how to get student housing and can put you in touch with other accepted students in your program so you can make friends and contacts before arriving. Here are some of the reasons and benefits of studying in Australia for dental school. There are limited places in Canada for dentistry students. The dental schools have a prestigious worldwide reputation. And with the reciprocal agreement with Australia and New Zealand, it makes it possible to complete your studies and return to Canada to practice. The dentistry schools have a lot of student supports and hands-on approach to learning the industry. The beaches, need I say more and the Australian lifestyle and getting out of harsh Canadian winters for the next four to five years. So now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty of the schools we represent. We like to show you where in Australia all the dental schools we represent are located. Most of the schools, with the exception of the University of Western Australia, are located on the East Coast, as you can see, with James Cook University being the furthest north. The University of Otago is located in New Zealand and has a graduate entry bachelor program. Here we will take a look at the application timeline. As you can see, we are still in the beginning of the process. If you haven't already opened up an application on austrec.com, now is a great time to do so. We're currently accepting documents and starting to complete the applications. Throughout the summer, we start running into some deadlines and are very busy ensuring everyone's applications are processed and submitted on time. September, we start to have other offers coming in and through December is our pre-departure season. We have tons of tips and resources to help you feel not, not feel overwhelmed about moving across the world. And programs and orientation begins in January through to March. There are eight dental schools that we work with. And if you have a completed bachelor degree or are completing it this year, you may be eligible for all eight. With high school diploma or an incomplete bachelor program, you can apply to the undergraduate programs. So here's a list of the schools and whether they're undergraduate or postgraduate programs. The important thing to note is that they result in the same qualification at the end and are both considered entry to practice. The undergraduate programs are listed below and the postgraduate programs are listed above. This is a general overview of the programs. The bachelor programs are five years in length and the postgraduate are four. The minimum GPA to apply is a 2.7. Melbourne has a, strict, has a strict human anatomy prerequisite. And to apply, you may need the DAT from the postgraduate programs or the UCAT ANZ for the universe to apply to the University of Queensland. There are between six and 45 spots available for our students. And some programs do conduct interviews and they would be either online or in person here in Canada. 
timeline again is to start your applications between January and May. And here again is when the programs begin January through to March. Undergrad and postgrad tuition amounts to give you a rough idea of how much per year tuition costs are. They're based on last year's and do increase in incrementally each year. Here we'll break down what is competitive and how you're assessed for the postgraduate programs. Melbourne, a competitive GPA is around a 3.0 out of 4 and a DAT score of 21, and you're assessed 50% on DAT and 50% on GPA, and they use a weighted GPA system for 30 spots available. The Sydney minimum is a 2.7 out of 4, and to apply, once you meet that threshold, you're no longer assessed on your GPA, but 50% on DAT and 50% on interview. A competitive DAT is around uh, 22, and there are 45 spots in, this, in the seats. UWA has a minimum GPA of 3.1 to apply, and a competitive DAT is around 24, and you're weighted equally between DAT, GPA, and interview, and they have six spots available. University of Otago in New Zealand does not require the DAT. They have a minimum of 2.7 to apply, and you assess you on your GPA and interview, and there's 15 spots. Here we go for the undergraduate programs. Charles Sturt University has 10 spots for international students and you need 85% from high school or a 3.5 from university and you're assessed on your GPA and your interview. Griffith is our most competitive program from high school and 97% is considered competitive and a 3.8 from university and you're only assessed on your GPA and there are 25 seats available. JCU will require 92% from high school or 3.7 from university to be considered competitive. You're assessed on your GPA and supplemental forms for 15 spots. And University of Queensland, you'll need a 90% or a 3.7 from university, and you'll be assessed on your GPA and your UCAT ANZ score, and they have 40 seats available. We're now nearing the end of our presentation. I'll speak to you a little bit about what it looks like to return to Canada. This is the, there, there is a reciprocal agreement between Canada and Australia and New Zealand since 2010, which means that after completing a dentistry program there, you can return to Canada and be treated the same as a domestically trained gra dental graduate. To practice, you'll write the NDEB and the OSCE exams. There no uh, extra exams or bridging programs are required. And that, there you go. That concludes our presentation. If you have any questions, please jump back into the dentistry chat room and we can answer you there. And if you ever want to reach out to us, you can reach us at dentistry at oztrek.com or call the office at any time. All right. Thanks very much.